Hello everyone, welcome back to Grim's Garage. Today, on some recent diecast pickups, we've got two Hot Wheel Monster Trucks, which honestly I wasn't interested in these models. I bought these actually just for the crashed vehicles. We've got two premium Hollywood style vehicles from Hot Wheel, two Johnny Lightnings, and a Jada Transformers, which we're going to go ahead and open up right away. Has some package damage, slightly torn there. It looks like the exhaust stack had punched through the top. Probably why I looked out on finding it, but I'm an open collector, so I didn't see any further damage, so I was okay with that. And here we are. I do have one of the newer versions of him in the scale from Jada. Very happy to have this one, the best one. I did miss out on having the full 124 scale of this, and um, there's like an evil version of him that's the same size or same model. It's like black and purple. I forget his name, but he was available as well. Um, at the time, to be honest, I did not have toy funds on me. So I just posted a picture on my local page for others to pick up if they so desired. Perhaps I'll get them someday. But this is, this is beautiful. Next, let's open some Johnny Lightning. We've got a 69 Ford Torino Talladega. Love my Torinos. Got this in my local horrible lobby. And um, as stated before, my favorite Torinos are actually the 70 and 71 GTs. About every two years, the body stylings are completely different. And it's the 7071 that I really jive with. Nice opening hood. Flat black on the hood. Seems to be factory. Nice Ford logo on it. Packaging seeing color. I'm guessing Oxblood. Okay, they're calling Royal Maroon. My first assumption would have been Oxblood, but Royal Maroon probably sounds way more appealing these days, or even those days, ox blood is a really old term, maybe off-putting, but sorry about the focus today, I'm really looking at chrome accents on this and the rims are looking really nice. Very cool addition. And next we have Truck and Trailer, Johnny Lightning, 66 Ford Bronco with open car trailer. This is the B version, I believe. Yep, version B. I did open the version A recently, which to be honest, I think looks a little better. Um, this one does have some really cool bumper sticker tempos all over it, but otherwise the whole thing is kind of a drab brown. Here's the version A, by the way. Oh! Dropped my trailer. But, yeah. The version A looks way prettier. And most sites you would assume the truck... It, should be hauling the trailer. I think these sets look better as the trailer's made for the vehicle. Find something else to pull this around with. All right, so let's get this open.
take a look at that trailer. I've seen this before, nice metal bottom, just a plastic fake tread on the top. And a uh, whole full set of rubber tires. And we got the uh, treading. Which you get the brown matches the truck, but Ooh. probably should have been silver to match the rest of this bed. It's the same material, right? Come on now. Look at this beautiful truck. Ford Bronco. I wonder if the other one opened. I don't think it did. No. Lots of little bumper sticker tempo on that. Simple plastic rims, but they, they seem to suit. Good, I'm digging the. Oh, you know what? <laughs> They're both Fords, I didn't notice that. They both are sporting the flat black hood. One's royal maroon, the other's like a brown. So, the see the color on this one? Oh, dark brown. Custom dark brown. So custom dark brown, royal maroon, both a flat black hood. Now let's take a look at these monster trucks. We got your Hot Wheels taxi monster trucks. Although actually, um, did take a closer look at these. I'm not too familiar with these models because I don't like monster trucks too much. I do have a pile of them that I hate because they're modeled after other models that I like. But um, these two seem to be the exact same casting other than the fact that one has a cutout back window and the other does not. So it seems like the decaling is the only thing different. But Honestly, I really just bought it because I wanted to smash the van. I wanted to smash wagon. So the monster trucks themselves are going to be on the trade table for my local die cash. So monster trucks. The whole taxi tempo getup is pretty cool. But what I bought it for, I'm call this blindsided. Smashed van. What would you say? Dodge, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, that is pretty cool. But even cooler will be this all blue wagon with the 32 degrees monster truck. here it's 
Otherwise, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much the same casting. Yeah, that's like the same casting other than one has a cut out back window. Strange. And here we are with the flat iron and all flat baby blue primer. Gonna be weird or pathetic, but I really had to have this for my wagon collection, that is. They're gonna look great on the shelf. Ooh, look at that tailgate. How did you make that dent? Somebody hit that with a shovel? Anyway, we are down to two Hot Wheel premiums here. We got the Jetsons car, space car. Which at the time that I picked this up, there was a whole case of this series. But these two here were the only ones that I was personally interested in. Hmm. I think I missed out on the main line of this. I'm okay with that. This one is a lot cooler. Got a nice little blue plastic swoop stand. Slightly rattly, but it doesn't come off. Very cool. I need a few extra fantasy spaceships to go on my Hollywood shelf. 87 Toyota pickup truck from Back to the Future. Everybody's been, a lot of people have been excited about this. And wanting more models of this to come out. This is probably going to be a hot one to find. Scalpers are probably going to tear this one up. So, happy to have found one myself in the wild. And that is beautiful. All black, beautiful tires, beautiful rims, black rims with a chrome. Wow. Very beautiful. One of my favorite Hot Wheel Premiums so far are 2023. Very awesome. And with that, thank you for joining me today. Hope you'll join me again soon. Please like and subscribe. It'll help me out tremendously. And with that, thank you and good night.